terms of the diamond industry in India, like what are the problems that you face in the industry? Is there something that you face which you think should be given up to compete in comparable, I mean, favorably with the West? See, India has got only one big competitor that our brothers are our competitors. We have no much problem with the foreign, foreign competitions. But you know, we are too many business people and the, and the trend of this end of the century is there are no physical war, there are commercial war. They are economic wars. And you know, in open economic war, everybody try to compete with each other and try to sell cheaper. So at, at present juncture, there is a copious supply of loose diamond available compared to the purchasers. This is the biggest problem facing the diamond industry today. Okay. Why, uh, uh, like a lot of transnational companies are coming up and setting shop up in India, you know, or production plants and all that. Why have not diamond companies or international gems and jewelry companies come to India? See, number one, diamond as such is a very in labor intensive thing. It is not that one mechanism will take place. Then diamond is also working on a small scale industry. Worker, has, worker can get, go home, take few diamonds, cut on his own wheel and bring. And it is such a laborious that uh, international company, of course trading companies have been established, they are buying and they find that is more interesting rather than to go deep into the process of pro procuring rough and cutting. It is not that much of paying as you are buying. Today buyer is the king, seller is always a second man. So they want to become king rather than the seller. Seller is a second stage, buyer is the king because he is coming with the cash to buy. Sometimes it so happens depending upon the currency fluctuations, availability of product, you can always buy cheaper and better than you produce your own. What do you see the future of the diamond industry like in terms of exports, in see, terms of domestic? I, I tell you, as far as the consumption of the world goes, about uh, as long as you are consuming, uh, exporting up to 3.5 to 4.5 .5 billion dollars of diamond, it should not be problem because that is the consumption of the world totally. Even that is also high. What has recently happened, lot of small families' budgets has of what diamond buying has been replaced by these electronic gadgets. Say you have got computers which were absent before 10 years, then you have got lot of uh, laser displayers, CD, Walkman, TVs, and now the baby wants a TV in his house, he wants a video game. Now this all money going away which is actually going away from the savings which never existed before 10 years. When we were young, we never know what was a uh, video game. And today my granddaughter of 7 years, she wants a video game first. Now these all video games, these TVs, small computers, laptop computers, mobile phones are going to come, they are already all over the world. So this has taken away quite a sizable chunk of the diamond uh, budgets. So people are finding a little bit difficult to sell them. But anyway, these are all kind of ups and downs in industry has to face. In video, in audio and video also it was like that. About 10 years ago, the audio was on the top, then the video came. Then the people has to time the span to see the audio video. So once again, audio has come back. So I think after another two, three years, people will see whatever money put in this plastic and copper and wire and chips, there is no use and still you can manage your life. Perhaps the day is not far, I think, they will turn back to something which we, they can retrieve money out of selling it. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye.